Okay, in this short tutorial I want to show you how to define variables by using a name rather than simply referring to a cell reference. And you'll see why this is useful in a second. So if you look at our formula that predicts the gravity value gz at a position x for a spherical object, it looks like this, where the formula has three con uh, constant variables, if you like. Del rho, the density contrast of the object. Radius, which is the radius, defines the size and the depth to its center, center of mass, strictly speaking. So those three variables I've listed here as depth, radius, and del rho. And I've also provided a column just with the units uh, for, for reference. And in the middle, in column F, I've just inserted some arbitrary initial values. So 6,000 meters for the depth, radius of the sphere is 4,000 meters, and the del rho is 0.34 gram per centimeter cubed. So what we want to do is implement this formula for each of these x positions here. And notice that these are in kilometers. So for position uh, 1, uh, where x is 20 kilometers away from the center, uh, click that cell. So I want the answer for gz to be stored in cell B2. So I click cell B2, enter the formula bar, Click once, enter an equal sign, and enter the formula. 0 0.02794 times del rho times radius cubed times open bracket depth divided by open bracket k. Now, here, x refers to this x position so for this cell x is given by the cell a2 and because i want this in meters not kilometers it's going to be a2 times 1000 we'll close that bracket there and that's squared plus depth squared Close bracket, and within we need to add another set of brackets here because I want the bottom numerator to be raised to the power 1.5. There we go, that should work. Alright, now the problem here is that the formula, or rather Excel, doesn't yet know what these names mean. So we need to define those. And the way you do that is you select the cell next to the, the name, say, Del Rho. Select that cell. Right click. And then select Define Name. Or I'm going to do it this way so you can see what's going on. Go to Formulas, Define Name. And you get this little dialog. Move to the side. You'll see it says Del Rho refers to this del rho and it means the word del rho means the value that's in column f row 5 okay. column f row 5 so we say yes that's correct then do the same for radius select define name radius column f row 4 that looks right same for depth define name depth yes Okay, now look, we now have a result because if we click that cell and highlight the formula, click in the formula bar, now Excel knows about these names. So del rho in blue refers to this cell or the value in that cell, radius refers to this value, and depth refers to that value. So to propagate this formula down, all we do now is the classic fill down, select the right hand corner of the cell, highlighted cell, pull down, release, done. Okay, so now you see the GZ value is changing, rises to a positive anomaly of 16 milligals 
directly over the sphere and drops away to near zero, about 20 kilometers either side of it. Okay, good.